all right thanks for tuning into this session right here in this session what we're going to be looking into is how to import and edit your music to your amv clips or any video clips in no video editing app to do that is very simple just come to this plus icon right here and go to media when it comes to importing audio in no video editing app no video actually provided with two options to import audios into our timeline there are two options we have extract audio from video let's say you have a video that you want to extract audio out of the video you can use this option right here which i'm going to be showing you how to do right now then next one is load from your words from your gallery let's say you have download your audio file so this option right here will allow you to import it directly into your timeline so let's use this as example first so let's use from extract audio from video let's click on it when you click on it it's going to take you into your phone folder then you look for the video that you want to extract audio out of so this is the video as you can see this is the video clips right here so i want to click on it and boom, as you can see, it's extract only the audio and not importing the video clips right there. So let's play it and see how it looks. As you can see, it's only the audio that has been extracted. As you can see, it's only the audio that has been extracted. So let's put it right there. So now as you can see, let's delete this and use the next option right there. Then click on this and come to media. Then you want to use load from file. So this will allow you to, to import audio file directly. So you want to click on it and load and go to your file and go to your phone folder where you have your audio downloaded. All right, as you can see right here, this is the audio file. This allows you to what to import audio file, not extracting audio from video clips. This will allow you to import direct audio file. So you want to click on it and boom, as you can see, this audio file right here. When we play it, let's see. So this is an audio file right so now it's time for us to edit our music to all our clips so to do that just click on this drop down menu click on this and click on your down menu right as you can see the video they are right below the word the audio so we want to bring this audio below them to do that just click on this and drag it towards to the back of the clip right here and click on this and click on your root drop it down back as you can see it right here this of our clip right here and the audio file is below so let me share an enlightenment to what most of people that are doing tutorial about new video editing they are doing doing wrong i'm not trying to criticize anybody right here but i'm just trying to share my life on this so everybody can learn together so as you can see it's right here let's say i want to add marker to my music beat right here so what most of the editor are doing wrong is that they are using bookmark to add to add marker to us to the to the music beat which is not precise they are just trying to like just add it randomly Actually, the bookmark is not for adding marker to your music beat. The bookmark is just, let's say you are editing and your mom's or your daddy calls you. So you don't want to watch, you don't want to mix this exact part. You've, you've stopped in editing. You can just add marker right there to remind you that this is the exact part that you had before. So you can continue your editing. That is the function of this bookmark. If you want to add marker to your music beat, I'm going to be showing you how to do that right now. Using bookmark is not the perfect way to add marker onto your video clips. So the perfect way to add marker to your music beat, so you can be able to sync your, your montage or your clips direct onto the, onto the music beat is to click on the clips itself you're gonna see this option once you click on it and you're gonna see this keyframe right here when you open it up you're gonna show you all the waves in the words in the audio file right here you can zoom it up so you can see it clearly as you can see it's right here these are the peak where the where there is a beat impact where you can what hide your marker onto the part and as you can see right here when you scroll right here and use this bookmark that most of them they are using it's not adding the marker directly onto the audio wave that is the main reason why that's why it's wrong to use this logic but as you can see let me say this the peak of the music beat you have to listen to the music so you can understand these are the, let me say these are the peak right here when i add the marker right here and i move forward let me use this use another peak of the music and the wave as you can see it's actually marker onto what onto the onto the waves of the music when i continue adding it to what to continue adding marker towards the hill point of the clip right there so this will allow me to what to be able to what to be able to sync my montage onto what onto this cut right here as you can see let me say i just i'm using this as random so as you can see i can just edit my montage onto this onto the cut directly and as well i can arrange anything as well as the way i want it as you can see if you want to delete you can click on it and delete whichever one or you can as well add it back 
So this is how you can add marker to your music beat. So you can sync your montage or your video clips onto the music beat. So you don't have any issue with missing some impact of the beat. So hope you guys get value out of this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next topic. Bye.